How's it going, everybody? It's the King's Fox here today. It's my channel where I talk about anime, video games, and cartoons. And uh, yeah, if you can already tell from the title of the video, this is another Sonic related video uh, exclusive to one of the newer characters, Tangle the Lemur. Uh, but, anyways, I wanted to wish everybody Happy New Year's and stuff and Happy Xmas and all that. Uh, I'm recording this on New Year's Eve and whatnot uh, since I have some spare time. So, yeah, I just wanted to, like, just, you know, make this video and get it out of the way. Uh, and whatnot. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna like this is gonna be ready on New Year's Eve or tomorrow or whatever, but it should be you know done by the end of this week. But anyways, regardless, I'm speaking up to a little bit too much. But anyways, uh yeah, so today I wanted to talk about Tangle and Lemur, and this is a video idea I've been kind of sitting on for a while. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so as most of you already know, I'm a bit of a Sonic fan and whatnot. And I'm into the games, I got into it through the games and stuff, and I'm into generally most of the stuff about related to Sonic, whether it be the games, the cartoons, the comics, uh, the anime, of course, uh, whatever, you know, I'm usually into Sonic. Um, but mostly, you know, since, you know, you know they ha don't have a lot of games coming out, well, there is definitely some stuff coming out, like Sonic uh, Frontiers, the uh, cinematic trailer looked good, but I can't really guarantee the gameplay, though. But hopefully it'll be good, it's open world and stuff, based off of... Uh, Wild Breath, so that should be fun. Uh, I definitely want to play that, or Sonic Origins and stuff. That's another Mega Collection game. But uh, anyways, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I'm a Sonic fan, as you already know. And um, I kind of want, as a fan, like I'm always craving newer stuff to come out, you know, to satisfy my, you know, just that, oh, that urge, you know, that I, I need more Sonic, you know. Uh, same thing for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but... Um, but usually with like Sonic and stuff, you have the games or the cartoons, but since there's no game that's out at the moment that's like really good or there's no cartoons going on and stuff, uh, I don't really have nothing to really fall back on besides the comics, which is why I'm always talking about it. So today, um, like I said, I wanted to make more of a habit of talking about the IDW comics versus talking about the Archie comics because the Archie comics is all right, but I actually low-key think the IDW is probably just done better uh, by far. Uh, but that's a video for maybe for another day, possibly, I know I always make these promises, but, uh, yeah, so uh, let's talk about Tangle the Lemur, so, basically, Tangle, um, is one of the newer characters, she's one of the new main characters, exclusive to the comics, uh, and stuff, she's been around since, like, she's been, she was introduced about three, just about four years ago, it's gonna be four in April, uh, back in, uh, issue number four, uh, and whatnot, and she had quite a, uh, impact, you know, like, at first, they were kind of teasing this idea if anybody remembers, uh, if you were, you know, uh, there when it happened. But, like, they were teasing this idea, like, oh, the silhouette and stuff of who this new mysterious character is uh, with Sonic and whatnot. And is Sonic holding this person's hand or whatever? And some people were thinking, oh, is it Sally and stuff or whatever? And I'm like, nope. I mean, well, personally, myself, I was like, nah, this is probably, like, a new character or something. And then, lo and behold, this new character is Tangle and whatnot, Reveal. So, uh, yeah, 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 so everybody was like, oh, snap, okay, let's see what this character got, um, and whatnot, I'm like, alright, I'm cautiously optimistic, I'm like, I mean, it's written by people that I actually think, um, can actually write good Sonic stuff, and actually, like, and it has some pretty good artists and stuff, you know, and speaking of which, like, Tangle was created by, um, both Ian Flynn and Tyson Heese, uh, Ian Flynn, as we already know, is, like, one of the best Sonic writers, uh, just in the city, yeah, in general, uh, in my opinion, and then I would say, uh, Tyson Heese, uh, yeah, he's definitely one of the artists, if you don't know his work, uh, you should probably recognize his work from the Sonic movie, because he's the one who did that whole redesign thing, that had everybody gushing in their boots and stuff over, yeah, the redesign, not the, um, original design, but yeah, the redesign, the cutesy one that got butts and seats and stuff, and everyone was like, oh yeah, that, that's Sonic, and yeah, uh, he did that, so he created Tangle as well, and whatnot, so yeah, uh, so Tangle is created by those two uh, and whatnot. She's she's been around for about four years now, just about. Uh, she's one of the new main characters inside the IDW comics and stuff. Um, I actually like this character and stuff. I like her character, her personality and stuff, and especially her abilities and whatnot, which I'll be talking about. So let's get into it. All right, so what are my thoughts on this character? What do I think about Tangle? Do I think she's good? Do I think she's bad? Do I think she's meh? Do I think she's um, all right or what? Well, first myself, I actually think Tingle's cool, and I think um, she definitely should appear. Uh, definitely, if the comics don't turn out right, uh, which it's going smoothly right now, but I'd be hearing things about IEW going bankrupt or whatever. But it's a shame because they really do have a lot, a lot of good, interesting concepts and stuff that should like carry over 
into like the games and stuff and whatnot inside um the series but anyways uh tangle yeah i feel like tangle is definitely one of those characters and whatnot um that definitely should make that transition uh outside of the comics and whatnot um but anyways uh what do i think of her so yeah Tangle, I think she's definitely uh, fits to the uh, Sonic aesthetic, to the Sonic series and whatnot. I think she's a nice addition uh, and stuff. Uh, I think, you know, right down from her personality to her design, uh, her uh, abilities and stuff, I feel like, yeah, all that stuff really does fit uh, to, you know, the Sonic characters and stuff. Like, you you know, like, for example, you have characters like Knuckles, who, uh, Knuckles, you know, like, yes, really simple uh, design. Uh, which is very, you know, lovable, of course, but, you know, he's, like, red, he's an echidna, uh, he has, you know, his, um, name is Knuckles, and he has super strength, so you have at least maybe four things right there about, like, certain Sonic characters and stuff that, uh, make him stand out, I guess, so, like, of course, you have red echidna, super strength, and then let's call him Knuckles, you know, uh, very simple, right, and I feel like Tangle is kind of like that, uh, and I think, yeah, her name definitely captures what she does and whatnot, I mean, because Tangle... And I know it's supposed to be like a play on to her, um, to like her playful like nature and stuff that she likes to dance around with, like, you know, she likes to dance with enemies and stuff. That's why I call it Tangle and whatnot. But, anyways, uh, yeah. So basically, what's her design? So basically, Tangle, um, she's pretty much a ring tailed lemur. Uh, Mobian, of course. Uh, she has purple eyes and whatnot. She has uh, light and uh, dark gray fur and stuff. Her uh, face is mostly round. I think her hair is more so, or at least sometimes how I draw it, it's kind of like um, similar to uh, Rouge and Amy's kind of cut a little bit. Just a little bit more, I want to say, poofier. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, but yeah. And then, you know, in terms of like her uh, attire and stuff, I had to say like Tangle, she wears a uh, black and orange kind of jumpsuit as well as an orange t-shirt with uh, some kind of orange and black uh, shoes or sneakers. It kind of looks like Adidas a little bit. She has uh, orange sports tape, which is probably like a reference to either Sonic Boom or she's probably like some kind of like fighter. And stuff. Well, she is a fighter, but obviously. But, you know, it could be a play on that. Um, you know, all that stuff. And I think, yeah, her design definitely is awesome. I like it. Um, wouldn't change anything about it. Uh, well, maybe. But, nah, I think it's pretty good. Um, but, yeah, so that's Tangle the Lemur. So, uh, anyways... Uh, I'm going to be talking about how she's written this stuff, and then I'll probably talk about some of her abilities, and then uh, I'll see where I go from there. Alright, so I'm going to talk about some of her abilities real quick. Um, pretty much her abilities um, are pretty much um, not anything like super impressive, but uh, definitely above an average Mobian, of course, um, or any like, yeah, definitely above like peak human or whatever. Um, I had to say that Tangle has, like, to an extent, superhuman strength, superhuman speed, and reflexes, uh, and whatnot, because she's shown to be able to keep up with Sonic and Blaze, and whatnot, when, uh, taking on Batniks and stuff, which is something that, uh, no ordinary, uh, Mobian could probably do, or human for that matter, I guess, but, uh, yeah, uh, because Tangle is seen at her, uh, hometown, Spiral, uh, Hill, uh, Village, I believe, that's the name of it, Spiral Hill Village, yeah. She's shown there uh, protecting it from uh, egg pawns and stuff during uh, one of Metal Sonic's attacks and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so she can definitely keep up with Sonic and Blaze to an extent. Um, or at least like, you know, she may not be on their level probably, but she's at least able to like keep up with them and also help them like fight off egg pawns and super bad nicks and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Then she's also got, of course, you know, her most notable ability, her prehensile tail which can also, like, I guess, uh, which can wrap up enemies and stuff. It can also um, be used as, like, you know, for, like, heavy hits and stuff, like punches and whatnot, uh, etc. So, uh, yeah, and, like, grappling or whatever, uh, that kind of thing. So it's, um, well, of course, it's pretty handy, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so that's uh, some of Tangle's abilities. I'll put her feats down below uh, so you could probably see or check it out. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about uh, how the character is written and stuff. So is Tangle written bad? Is she written good? Is she written meh? Is she written, like, how is she written? So tell me down below what you think in the comments. Do you think Tangle is actually written pretty well? But personally, myself, yes, I actually think Tangle is actually written pretty well. Uh, pretty good, actually, and whatnot. So pretty much I'm going to just summarize or just tell everything from um, pretty much from the uh, beginning of where Tangle had appeared all the way up to everything recent. So uh, I guess spoilers but 
Uh, yeah, so spoilers, so let me just skip ahead in case you don't want to hear anything that might just ruin that experience for you. But uh, anyways, so I'm going to start. So basically, issue number four, uh, we have Tangle and whatnot. This is where she first appears and stuff, and not only does she also appear and co-star along with Sonic, but also this is the first introduction of Blaze in this version of the IDW comics and stuff. So that's actually, uh, and I feel like it's a very smart strategy too. So that's like, not only is it nice, but it's a very smart strategy because I feel like in case like, you know, Tangle didn't hit well or didn't, or if she's not received well by fans and stuff, uh, at least you have Blaze to fall back on because she's already an established character and a very fan favorite one at that. So at least you have, uh, yeah, and I feel like they kind of use the same thing with um, when they had uh, Sonic and Silver team up when Silver had first debuted inside um, these uh, inside this comic line and stuff when they had Whisper also introduced. So in case, you know, in case you didn't like these characters, then at least you have the established and the fan favorite characters to also uh, at least, you know, take a, like take into account or you can appreciate that at least. But yeah. But I think, yeah, both characters, you know, both Tangle and Whisper were definitely received well, uh, especially Tangle here in issue number four um, and whatnot. To say that this character did not, yeah, to say that this character did good is a bit of an understatement. She did amazing and stuff. It was pretty good. I was like, yeah, I definitely want to see more of this character and whatnot, see what, um, what she has to offer to the story and whatnot. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, definitely a fan favorite character. I mean, hell, after the first issue, like the fans were shipping Tangle and Blaze together. And again, personally myself, I do not ship Tangle or Blaze together because I believe Blaze is straight. But a lot of fans were shipping um, the two together and it's only been like one comic. So I'm like, calm down, guys. Calm down, Jamal. But um, yeah, but people were doing that. So uh, it's whatever. But anyways, um, but yeah, it was a pretty nice comic, though. Uh, it's mostly just about Sonic, ta oh, I almost said Tails, Sonic, Tangle, and uh, Blaze, the three of them teaming up and, um, you know, just stopping some egg ponds inside Tangle's uh, hometown, uh, Spiral Hill Village and stuff and whatnot, and taking on some super bad nicks. So it's not anything too much to write home about, just, you know, oh, well, if you want to get the first time this character appeared, then here it is. Uh, but, yeah, I wouldn't say it's, like, that crucial to get, as in, like, oh, yeah, this definitely would tell you everything about the whole story of <laughs> nah but uh anyway so moving on so pretty much um tangle appears later to help out uh sonic and co fight against uh metal overlord on angel island so that was a pretty good um uh, yeah pretty good there i mean tangle kind of bonded with some of the um some of her uh newer friends like uh with silver and vector and even um the new character uh whisper and whatnot uh, they definitely got hit it off, you know, especially going onwards uh, for the next arc coming up and, you know, they're later on partnership. So, anyways, um, Tangle. So, after that arc, pretty much there was the Zombie Virus arc, uh, which was happening in the mainstream comics, whereas there was a spinoff uh, that was kind of going, yeah, that was kind of out around the same time as well, where uh, basically uh, it's about um, Tangle and Whisper teaming up. So, you know, you can get a little introduced to these newer characters and stuff. So, Sonic's not exactly too prominent in this comic or anything. I mean, we, yeah, like he's not too prominent or anything. It's just, oh. Uh, but it's just about Tangle and Whisper and stuff and just getting a little, I guess, affiliated with them a little bit more and fleshing out uh, their stories and whatnot. What's the whole deal? Or whatever, you know? So, we get, in the first comic, we get, like, uh, Tangle and Whisper uh, teaming up to... Um, you know, uh, we're not teaming up in the first comic, um, you know, we get a little bit of Tangle just, uh, in the comic, just, you know, in her hometown with her, uh, best friend Jewel and stuff, they're just talking, and Tangle's like, man, that whole stuff with Metal Sonic and all that, the whole adventuring thing, yeah, I think that's for me, and then, you know, Whisper shows up, uh, chasing down Mimic, and Tangle wants to help out Whisper, and, uh, pretty much tries to get Whisper to open up more, since she's obviously a little bit more uh, personal about this whole stuff, and she's harboring a lot of feelings about this whole situation and whatnot. And, you know, it's revealed that, you know, Mimic was one of her, uh, not only one of her uh, closest friends, but also one of her idols and stuff, a part of this group uh, called the Diamond Cutters that they used to be a part of. It's a mercenary group that used to uh, go up against uh, Dr. Eggman's uh, forces back during the events of Sonic Forces, or probably a little bit prior, technically speaking, but during that time when Sonic was in captivity. Uh, yeah, they were pretty much, uh, you know, fighting back against Dr. Eggman, uh, so much so that Dr. Eggman pretty much hired Mimic to, uh, knock him off, uh, the block, pretty much, so basically, uh, Mimic had ended up getting them killed, 
and Whisper managed to survive and, you know, vowing to, uh, you know, take her revenge on both Dr. Eggman and Mimic someday. So there is that. So, uh, yeah, so pretty much, you know, uh, the time has come for Mimic and whatnot. And um, Tangle learns this uh, past and tries to help um, Whisper out, of course. And Whisper starts to, like, open up to uh, Tangle a little bit more, which is really big for her character, you know. Uh, so, yeah, and it's really nice. It's really nice. It's a, it's a really good read. I personally also own, like, a hard copy of this. Um, I have a graphic novel of the uh, Tangle and Whisper comic and stuff. So, yeah, that's also pretty cool. So, anyways, uh, yeah, but I think it was really good. It's a nice read and whatnot, but yeah. Um, so, there's that. And then, uh, during the Zombavirus arc, which takes place afterwards, um, pretty much, um, everybody, you know, they're just Tangle and Whisper. They're trying to save civilians and stuff and whatnot um, from the Zombavirus and all that other stuff. And then, uh, I'm going to probably skip a little bit ahead to this one part where, um, Tangle had uh, returned back to her home in Spiral Hill Village to uh, rescue uh, her friend Jewel, only to find her uh, also infected by the virus, which ends up getting Tangle infected with the virus. So Tangle tries her damnness to kind of fight off the Zombots so that she can, um, you know, at least save as many uh, civilians as possible. And then, you know, Sonic also pops up, and around this time, Sonic's kind of questioning his morality and whatnot, or his moral compass, because, you know, he blames himself for the whole zombie virus and whatnot, that, you know, maybe this whole thing should have, like, falls on him, because maybe he should have, like, because there came a time in the comic where Sonic could have actually uh, had Eggman arrested, or he could have stopped him while he uh, had amnesia, and he was uh, living this life as Mr. Tinkerer, and Sonic just couldn't bring himself to, like, you know, um, you know, do something to to Eggman, you know, just, oh, in this state, you know? So, at least, yeah, at least in that state he was as Mr. Tinkerer. But uh, Tangle was pretty much, like, yeah, so pretty much everybody was kind of, well, not everybody, but some people like SBO and Shadow were kind of shitting on Sonic's uh, decisions there um, and whatnot. And Tangle here was kind of pep-talking Sonic, telling him that he just did what he did was right and whatnot, and he's not in the wrong, and then basically uh, everything will work out and all that other stuff. Basically, um, pretty much, which really did bring a peace of mind to uh, Sonic and whatnot. I was like, okay, I like that. So, pretty much, um, that's what she said, and then, um, pretty much Sonic and Tangle had worked together to, uh, at least, uh, stop the, um, to fight off, the, again, the infected Zombot, uh, guys, and whatnot, to the point, uh, so that, yeah, so Sonic was able to get away, but unfortunately, like, Tangle, since she doesn't have as much stamina and she isn't as fast as Sonic to kind of burn out the virus, um, unfortunately, she, um, ended up getting affected, but, Hey, it's a pretty big feat anyways, the fact that she was able to hold off, uh, you know, the infection for so long. So I think, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So anyways, you know, Tangle's infected. Uh, it's very uh, impactful. A lot of emotional stuff happens and stuff. It's really big. And then um, later on, you know, she's free. Uh, she's greeted by Whisper and stuff uh, afterwards and whatnot. It's pretty nice. And then they have a little bit of a party, you know, now that everybody's free of the zombie virus and then Eggman shows up to be a little bit of a party crasher. Um, yeah. And then there's this really nice moment afterwards where uh, they all greet Sonic is back and stuff and uh, Tangle hugs everybody and stuff using her tail and everything. It's pretty cool. Uh, and it's really cute, too. I actually uh, drew this once. if And I'll probably put it in this video, too, if I remember. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, it's um, really cute. And then later on, um, let's see, I think Tangle sits out on this next arc because this arc is where they go to his resort and stuff. And um, also that's where they meet Belle. And uh, yeah, so Tangle sits out in this arc. So then later on in the next arc, um, this is where they're in the uh, they're in this whole battle simulator or something. Um, it's a long story. So basically, uh, Sonic, Amy, and Tails end up trapped inside this uh, pocket dimension where Eggman likes to do all of his, like, testing on some of his uh bad nicks and stuff or his mechs and um basically he pretty much had them just like i said trapped in there so eggman was trying to get him killed uh so anyways at the time um tango had met bell and um bell is a creation by dr eggman um uh, while he was mr tinkerer when he was having amnesia or when he had amnesia and whatnot before you know uh metal sonic and dr starline helped return his memory and whatnot so yeah uh there was that but anyways, um, so Tangle um, p- kind of plays a bit of a supporting role, more so to Belle and whatnot, and kind of grew a little suspicious when she found out that um, Belle 
was one of Eggman's inventions and stuff, but it kind of dropped her suspicions after uh, after Bella pretty much came clean and was telling her that she was just showing up to uh, kind of figure out, you know, if officially if Dr. Eggman actually is her creator or not and more about herself. So, yeah, like I said, Tangle just let it go and was like, all right, well, you got a stamp of approval from Sonic, so you're cool with me. So, yeah, so there was that. And then um, after that, after rescuing um, Sonic, Amy, and Tails, uh, we move on to the next arc. Um, let's see, I think, wh- which one is this? This is the, uh, I want to say this is the Zeddy Hunt. Uh, I might be doing a little skipping around, I'm thinking, because I think Bad Guys happened. That was another spinoff comic. But there was a, um, no, that, that was during the um, during the resort stuff. But, um, yeah, the Zeddy Hunt. So basically the Zeddy Hunt, that was a comic. Uh, Tangle is not too prominent in there uh, by any chance, but uh, she does help out uh, Sonic and uh, Tails and Jewel and whatnot fight off in the rest, like the restoration, basically fight off uh, the Deadly Six, which came to conquer uh, the restoration and whatnot because, you know, they're evil and they want to retake the world, or not retake, yeah, they basically want to take over the world and they want to start by uh, taking down, like, some of their big defenses and stuff, so obviously, yeah. So Tangle pretty much uh, fended them off, helped Sonic and stuff, helped out Whisper. Uh, so yeah, it was pretty awesome. It was a good fight. Uh, I actually like this comic. I think this probably had the best fight in the entire series. The second one I would probably say would be like Sonic versus Shadow. I don't know. I never really ranked the IDW fights, but I'm just spitballing. But I think that fight with uh, yeah with like the Deadly Six was probably one of the best fights in the you know, like in the entire comics so far, uh, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I actually owned a little paperback for this too, uh, because I actually went to my comic book store one day because they were taking forever to release this comic. And I'm like, man, I want to see what's going to happen. And then they finally released it. I'm like, finally. And then I'm like, I go to the comic book store, I take the bus and everything. And then I take the bus home and I'm like, all right, here it is. I'm going to read the comic. So I read the comic and I'm like, all right, that was awesome. That was so spectacular. This was good for Tails' character. This is good for, uh... The Deadly Six and whatnot, because they sure, sure as hell need this whole improvement in terms of like being villains and stuff. It was perfect. I actually love this comic. Pretty much to me, it's like a 10 out of 10 in terms of read and whatnot, in my opinion. So you'll definitely get some enjoyment if you um, definitely are a Tales fan and whatnot. You'll love it. Uh, I loved it and whatnot. So yeah. But anyways, we're getting off topic. So back on topic with Tangle. So pretty much uh, that's what happens in the Zeddy Hunt. And then afterwards, there's a little bit of a mini story arc that's uh, Trial by Fire. That's the recent uh, story event that just happened where basically uh, Tangle goes on a little camping trip with uh, Amy, Belle, and uh, Jewel. Yeah, with those three and stuff. And pretty much uh, Amy kind of like, you know, they have a little bonding and stuff there. Uh, Amy kind of like tries to foretell everybody's futures and stuff. Tangle is kind of wrestling with um you know because tangle so far ever since like i want to say the mini comic with whisper and the whole uh stuff after we're um teaming up with sonic since issue four tangle's always kind of been just questioning herself on like what she wants to do in life and whatnot which is totally relatable uh being a young adult myself but tangle wants to do stuff like adventure and get out more and you know not be like you know tethered to uh spiral hill village or even the restoration for that matter you know that kind of thing so basically uh Tangle pretty much tells uh, Jewel straight up that she quits the restoration or whatever and um, wants to move on and just do her own adventure thing. Uh, so, I mean, in my opinion, I think this is probably their way of moving on from Sonic Forces and stuff. Um, I don't know, because I feel like, yeah, the writers and stuff and the artists, they want to kind of get away from Sonic Forces as much as possible and just get back to uh, telling, like, legitimate good Sonic stories and stuff, which is why they had stuff like the... Uh, resort and dr starline and stuff and all that other stuff yeah that's what i think anyways but uh anyways yeah so that's it about tangle in terms of like her writing and stuff i think she's a pretty well written character and stuff i think she's very likable she's very energetic she's very supportive she's always shown to be like a team player and whatnot and yeah and everything i feel like she has what it takes to be a good sonic character or she already has what it takes to be a good sonic character anyways and person myself she's already one of my top 10 favorite Sonic characters. I didn't want to put her in my top 10 when she was first introduced, but I was like, you know, she shows a lot of promise, but it will feel a little bit irrational right now to put her on my top 10. But since the years have kind of went by and it's been just about four years now, yeah, she's in my top 10, at least for favorite Sonic characters and stuff. Because again, I just like this character. I think she's pretty cool. 
Uh, I think she's got a nice personality and stuff, nice character, everything, you know? Um, so, yeah, but anyways, that's basically the charm of Tangle the Lemur and stuff. Um, pretty much, uh, I don't really have nothing else to really add here. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys like, share, and subscribe. This is the Keenest Fox, and I am out. Peace. And until we meet again.